Hello everyone, I am Ms. Namata and this is lesson 4, Jojo Spit. So this lesson we are going to uh, do the exercises. The first is this. A, write T for true and F for false. So number one, Jojo was looking for a baby bird. Number one is, Jojo was looking for a baby bird. So, uh, do you see in the story anywhere it's mentioned that he was looking for a baby bird? No, he was not looking for the baby bird. He's, you know, suddenly he found the baby bird. So this is a false. So we write F for false. The next we have, Jojo found a baby bird in the bushes. Is this true? Yes. The baby bird was in the bushes. So here we write two, P for two. I change the colors. So that we can, yeah. Two. The next is three. Jojo named his new pet Tweety. So is this correct? Yes, you can see in the picture as well. He named her Tweety. It's true. Let's write P. Next is Tweety hit the top in a bag. So now she hit the top in his boot. So this is false and we write F for false. So this is then done. Let's move to the next exercise. Exercise B. Read the sentence and answer the questions. So here we have the sentence. We will read this and then we are going to answer the question related to this sentence. He could not put on. So here we are going to read this word again. These two words together, put on, put on. They are always used together. So he could not put on one boot. This is the sentence. As we know, he could not put on the one boot. Now the question is, who could not put on one boot? Who could not put on one boot? Yeah. Right. Jojo. Jojo could not put on, on one boot. Yes. And the next question is, why couldn't he put on one boot? Remember, here we will be put on together. It will be put on. We can say, why couldn't he <coughs> put on the boot? We know because of the top. <coughs> we can write here B E C A U S E. It is because of the top. Because of the top. Now let's see the next. We are not doing exercise C. We will do exercise D. Few exercises we are escaping. There are certain certain reasons which I'll tell you afterwards. For now, we just. Uh, Go to exercise D. Write the group name for each set of words. So we have a set of words you can see. And here are some hints. The first is furniture, games, birds, fruits. Okay. So let's see the first. The first set of group is cricket, ludo, chess, hockey. And these all are name of games. So the answer is games. The next set of groups says duck, penguin, hen, parrot. We know these all are the name of yeah. These all are name of birds. So we can write here B I R D S bird. Start with small letter because birds. Is not the name of any uh, animal or any uh, like. It, it's not a name actually. So when we are writing name, the first letter is capital. If we are not writing names, the first letter should be small. So let's go to the next group of set of groups, a set of uh, words, a group: apple, guava, pear, and mango. So many of us read pear and some read pear. So I think both are correct. Let's read again. Apple, guava, pear, and mango. So these all are, yeah, they all are fruit. So we write here fruit for them. F-R-U-I-T. Actually, 
fruit fruit in the plural also it is fruit only we don't write as but in some cases we write as when we have to tell the different variety of the fruits so as is also okay sometimes okay the next set of word is set of words is uh, table chair sofa and bed the table chair sofa and bed they all are yes they all are furniture so yeah do it right here furniture f u r and i'm sorry this is r n i t u r e furniture yes okay i choose the color for better comprehension yes you can easily copy this i'll share and uh, speak to you now let's see the next exercise the next we have e drop the e at the end and make ing words so basically we are going to remove e from the spellings and then we are going to add and strip ing to those words let's see how it works come now you can see c o m is as it is e is removed and ing is added in then we have write so we can remove i so let's rewrite this we write it we write it like this w r i t and we will not write e yes don't write e and just add i n g to it becomes right then let's we are right so we will write r i d and then we are going to add i n g so let's do it t i d and let me choose the color here so that we have with the combination yeah next we have made and then we are going to make it without e but with i n g so m a k and then i n g make e making and we have smile and we are going to write s and i l we will not write t we will add i n g smiling then we have love we write that will be v and a v not e yes not e but i n g loving so come becomes coming right becomes running right becomes uh, right become riding me becomes making smile smiling love love thing this is super easy exercise now let's go for some spelling practice fill in double letters to make words from the lesson yes we have to make the words from the lesson not the new words okay so here have some hints m m o o t t p p r r n p p again so let's see h o n dash dash i n g what it could be m m humming no o o then there will be three o no p p hotting no pp hopping yes absolutely sir so we are going to write here hopping it goes like this pp hopping yes next we have h a dash dash p r ha and what yes absolutely right it is hammer so we write here hammer M M hammer. The next we have school skirt. You can easily see this is the school. Yes. So let's make it school. Double O is required. So we have school. Let's see. The next next is a uh, yeah C A R C A R R. Yes, we have learned in the lesson. So we are going to add R R. Becomes scary. Yeah. Next, B E and then dash dash. Yes. We add T T to it. So it becomes T T. Very. 
Next we have blur and it. Yes, last we have left one more set of T and T. So we can add here. Flat. Now we have new spellings. Hopping, hammer, school, carried, better, and flat. That's really good. You just have some uh, some grammar lessons, and we are going to exercise G. Uh, you will wonder why I I we you they have books. He, she has toys given. Actually, the word have is used with I, you, and all the many words. You know, remember many, one many we have learned in previous lessons. So we have to remember, I'm sorry, I'm not able to say this. So we have to remember this that I and you are used with have. And also the other many words. For example, we, they, maybe two people or more people. Okay? So it goes like this. The first is I. Sentence goes like this. I have. We have to add, add this. Have. So I have books. Full stop. It's important that you end the sentence with full stop. And the first letter should be always capital. Now, the next we have we and have books. So we can go like this we have books. I have books and end the sentence with a full stop. Then next we have you have books. It goes like this. Y capital because this is the first letter of the sentence. And then you have books. And the full stop. Next, they have books. It goes like this. First letter capital. They have books. Okay, now we know how to use them. I'll, I'll share a worksheet in the next coming lessons and then you will have more practice so that you can easily practice this and you are well versed. The next is he and she. When we have he in a sentence or she in a sentence, then we use has, we don't use have, okay? And also when we have only one person, for any one except I and you, other one words, words which are telling you the quantity or the quantity or number one, for with them you will use has. So here examples given, he has toys. So here we go like this. H capital, because this is the first letter of the sentence. He then has. And toys. Okay, he has toys. And if the word something else, maybe the word is books. So we can write like this. He has books. In any case, has will be used with he. Okay, now. Next is she has toys. It goes like this as capital because it's the first letter and then has toys. Full stop. Okay. And if we are using the word books, it goes like this. She again as is capital because the first letter should be capital. So to the sentence, yes, she has books. And end with this in full stop. So this is what we have learned in today's lesson. And I will share this uh, PPT with you. You can easily practice at home. Okay. And this exercise have and has. If you are, if you are still confused, don't worry. I will share more worksheet 
uh, worksheets related to the same. Okay, see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.